Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So I was kind of messing around with After Effects and I came up with this nice geometric sort of uh, title intro here. And this is what we'll be creating. So very basic, a very, uh, I guess, easy tutorial. So this will be fairly quick. But honestly, I thought this was very, uh, I don't know, relaxing for me to do this just because I like this sort of style. And there's a few cool elements in this, uh, and we'll be taking a look at how to kind of quickly create this sort of thing. Maybe you're doing something that has architecture or, you know, has some sort of math in it. So I think it'd just be really cool just to be kind of go quickly go through this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are in a new composition, and let's go to the ellipse tool right here. And let's hold down, uh, I guess, shift and click a circle here, and we'll kind of draw out a big, perfect circle like this and then let's go ahead and maybe go to the selection tool up here and let's reposition the circle to kind of be like off frame kind of like this and that should be okay and then let's go ahead and go ahead and go into the contents go to the ellipse one let's go ahead and select the fill and delete it and let's go to stroke one and let's go ahead and where it says stroke width and set that to like three and now we have this little uh, uh strokes for our circle and make sure to set the color set to white or whatever color you want to use but um, basically, you know, if you want, we're going for this minimalistic style. So things are going to be kind of thin and uh, kind of slow. So what we're going to do is go to this add here and we're going to click it and add a, a trim paths. And we'll go ahead and open up that property. And basically, we're going to go ahead and set the start to 100%. So now the circle is away, is, is completely gone. And then we'll go ahead and click the stopwatch for start. We'll move forward in time to maybe like a second and we'll set that to zero percent so now our circle will kind of come on like this and let's go ahead and make both of these keyframes easy as keyframes and maybe we'll offset them just by a little bit so now we have our circle and then maybe what else we can do is maybe go to the pen tool right here and maybe what we can do is click a point like right here and hold down shift and we'll kind of click off frame like this and basically we'll have another uh, line animating within this and then you know with the shape layer still selected maybe we'll go to the pen tool again and maybe we'll click a point down here and we'll go to our top line up here and if we click off this and you see now we have another line that kind of comes on just like that it looks pretty cool so I hope you guys don't mind but I went ahead and just pasted my text in um, I'm using the font Lotto so if you want to download this font uh, you can watch this video right here where you can download it you can open this uh, t a link in a new tab and watch it a little bit later but um, let's go ahead and continue to go with this so maybe now what I can do is uh, maybe just make sure the shape layer is not selected here and maybe what we'll do is go to back to the ellipse tool and maybe we can draw out like a, a smaller circle kind of like this and we'll go back to the ellipse, we'll delete the fill, open up the stroke, and maybe set the stroke width to maybe two this time, so it's a little bit smaller, skinnier. And we'll go ahead and go to our shape layer one here, and we will copy the trim paths, and we will paste it into shape layer two. If we hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes, you can see where the animation is going to start. So it starts right there, and that's fine for me. I mean, it's a little bit offset, and that's just fine for what we're trying to do. All right, so let's go ahead and maybe move this up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and go back to the pen tool and maybe what we'll do is kind of like uh, draw out like a point or like a line like this. Um, and that should animate on as well. And it'll come out at a different time and looking pretty good. Maybe we'll move our text over just by a little bit. All right. And then, um, you know, maybe what I'm thinking, maybe we will move our circle over a little bit more. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll kind of maybe come here. We'll add like another line like this and maybe do something like that so we have another straight line just like that and basically I created a new shape layer but because I didn't have shape layer 2 selected so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open that up go into the contents open up shape 1 we'll delete the fill again we'll go to the stroke maybe set this one to 2 as well and we'll just paste in our trim paths so now this will animate separately and we hit U on our keyboard we can see the keyframes maybe we'll offset them by a little bit so now once again we have all this nice cool animation coming in and it looks very cool. All right, and maybe now we'll just create a couple of more elements. Maybe I'll go ahead and go into like shape layer one here and I'll go ahead and go back to the pen tool and maybe we'll just like draw out a straight line like this. So now, you know, um, and the reason why we're going ahead and, you know, putting this all in different shape layers is because uh, the animation is going to be, you know, coming in at different times. So things are going to be kind of random when things are like in its own shape layer. 
And let's go ahead and maybe go up to the loops tool again and we'll draw out like another circle. Maybe not as big, but something like that. And we'll go ahead and go ahead and put this over here. And then let's go ahead and open it up, go to the fill, we'll delete it, go to the stroke. Maybe we'll set this one to like two. And then uh, we'll kind of like go ahead and paste the trim paths back in there as well. And let you to perceive the keyframes and we'll move this over to like right here. So it's looking really cool. And maybe what else I can do? Let me just go ahead and put this footage right into here real fast. Um, so we can kind of see what it looked like overlaid on some footage. What I'd like to do is maybe take this circle here and kind of like, um, you know, brighten it up in the middle so it'll kind of affect our footage. So what I'll do is I'll go to uh, shape layer, what is it, shape layer four here. And I'll go ahead and open that up, go to the ellipse one here. And we'll go to add and we'll add a fill to our ellipse one here. Make sure we put that underneath ellipse one. And what we'll do is uh, we'll set it to like white and we'll lower the opacity to like 15%. So now we kind of have brightened this up a little bit and it'll kind of affect our footage. So uh, what we'll do to help animate this, so it kind of comes on like right here. Um, what we'll do is we'll go to the opacity here. We'll click the stopwatch for opacity, move that keyframe over and set the opacity to 0%. So now it'll kind of just fade on like that and it'll look pretty cool. And maybe I'll just move it over just a little bit. I'll hit F9 for easy as. So it's looking pretty cool. And then what's really cool about this stuff is that we can create some custom shapes as well. I mean, we can do pretty much whatever. We can be very uh, specific with geometry, but what I like to do is maybe go to the pen tool here. Maybe we'll zoom in here. Maybe I'll put it under shape layer four. And what we'll do is we'll kind of like draw out like this random shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, just be kind of cool. And then let me go ahead and open that up. And then um, under shape one, let's delete the fill. And I'm a noob, I forgot to put the fill in the ellipse here so that there shouldn't be any fill there. But now we kind of have this cool random shape here and it'll look pretty cool. It'll kind of come on and look really nice. So if, let's say we want to composite this over footage. What I would suggest doing is I would create like a, a black solid and I would put the black solid just right above our footage here. And I would like just hit T on our keyboard to bring up the opacity and like lower that to like uh, maybe 30% or so. And it'll kind of blend very nicely so we don't have to create like any drop shadows. And it'll look pretty good. And then also, you know, what I suggest doing is maybe like uh, selecting all of our layers here, like the shape layers, hit T in our keyboard to bring up the opacity for that. And let's go to like five seconds or so, click the stopwatch for opacity. And let's just fade them out because I really liked that style. So let's fade it out, make them easy as keyframes. And let's go ahead and offset them. So now we can just kind of focus on our title now since the geometry is gone and things are looking you know pretty good. And what I want to do is maybe like on this sort of frame here is like maybe go back a little bit to where the cut is at. So the cut's like right here. And the cut is like right here. We'll go ahead and split this layer by going up to edit split layer. And what we'll do is we'll kind of go to like effect, color correction, tint, and then maybe I'll go to effect color correction levels and we'll kind of increase the input black or sorry, decrease it to the negative value. And that looks, you know, pretty cool. I, you know, it puts a lot of focus on the text as we get to this last clip. Since I'm a noob and this footage has a letterbox on it, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I quickly create a letterbox just for this bonus content. So what I like to do is go ahead and create a new solid and we'll just click OK here. And what I'll do is just kind of draw a rectangle like this. Now this isn't, you know, a very specific aspect ratio, but um, you know, no one's gonna say anything because it's pretty close. But what we'll do is with our new black solid, we'll duplicate the layer by hitting Command D on our keyboard, and we'll go up to uh, Layer Transform Flip Vertically. So now we have a perfect letter box. Our graphics are right underneath our uh, our line effects, our geometry. And to put some finishing touches on this animation, we'll go ahead and animate the text. And what I like to do is go ahead and maybe select our main text title here. We'll go to effects and presets, and I'm gonna go to blurs, and we're gonna use the evaporate preset. And it's really good, it's one of my favorite presets. Um, but basically the only thing we have to do is uh, hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And we need to select both of the keyframes here. And we need to right click them, go to keyframe assistance, time reverse keyframes, and then we can kind of bring them closer to each other. 
maybe we'll go ahead and maybe move the animation over here. So now this will kind of like, you know, evap, like kind of blur on almost. And then for our subtitle here, what I'll do is I'll go to um, uh, basically random fade up. So basically this is under animation presets. Sorry, I forgot to mention that under the text folder and the evaporate was under blurs and the animate in was, um, it, we're going to go ahead and select the uh, random fade up. And we'll go ahead and apply that to our subtitle text here. And we hit U on our keyboard with the layer selected. We'll bring up the keyframes here. We'll go ahead and drag the end keyframe in just by a little bit so the animation is a little bit quicker. We'll move these a little bit forward in time. So now they'll kind of come on very cool. And I'll go ahead and render this out and see what we got. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And I don't know, guys, I found this animation just kind of relaxing. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys learned a few things from this video. So if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel for more After Effects tutorials. And if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And as always, go ahead and please check out my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And uh, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. And hopefully, I'll see you soon.